So today we are opening Lost Origins. We have an ETB and three triple blisters and we're going to be putting them head to head in a battle to see which one's best. So let's rip into it. Okay, so today we are going to be opening up the ETB, which costs $37.99. And we're going to be opening the free triple blisters. They were $12.99 each, so that's... $38.97. Yes. So a little bit more money to pick up the free triple blisters. However, you do get that one extra booster pack. So it has got a little bit of a head start. Now the winner of this battle is going to be the box or the item that gives back the most amount of money. The one that loses the least amount of money, shall we say. Now just before we get into this though, if you want to get hold of some Lost Origins yourself, then make sure to go and check out my website, evocards.co.uk. We've got Lost Origins in stock, guys. We've got Silver Tempest to pre-order. We've got tons of other stuff like vintage singles, graded cards, loads of Pokemon goodies, guys. And if you want to support the channel, then a great way to do that is by supporting that store, guys. So go and check it out. The link is in the description down below. Anyway, let's kick off with the ETB. Now, guys, can I just say, first off, this is probably one of the best-looking ETBs Pokemon have released. It is so clean. I love it. The look of this thing absolutely awesome i really really do i've actually ordered the pokemon center one as well to add that to my sealed collection that's on its way but yeah just want to take a moment to appreciate how nice this looks okay so you've got the book in there guys and this set like i said is awesome there's some amazing cards to be on the lookout for alternate art giratina would be a wicked card to get the get aerodactyl as well with those jurassic world vibes air tons of different trainer gallery cards like the charizard is a beautiful card as well the golden pikachu any of the pikachus beautiful i love it we have got our dividers, your pack of energy cards, a code card, yay! That was terrible. You got your sleeves. Again, these sleeves are mainly designed for if you want to play, guys. If you're trying to protect your cards, I recommend penny sleeves all day long. Voltex in particular. Damage counter, V-Star cards, dice. Not bad, little like off reddish maroony color dice in there. And then most importantly, guys, eight booster packs. How do I think this is going to go? I've seen a few ETB openings. They've not gone very well, so I'm not expecting big things. All right, pack number one. Can we get a bit of first pack magic? We normally go for that last pack magic, but first pack would be awesome. Right, one, two, three, and four. And, uh, oh, let me show you the code card anyway. There you go. Enjoy it. Hope you, if you're doing well off these code cards, come and join my Discord and let me know what you managed to pull off it. The link to Discord is down below. Right, anyway, okay, so you've got this new part to the commons as well, haven't you? Where you've got this, um, what's it called? The Lost, uh, Lost Route. Oh, I can't remember the name of it now, I forgot. But there's like an area that's part, it's like another type of graveyard. It's quite cool, so you get moves and abilities that basically knock cards into that area now, which is interesting. Right, we've got the Spinner Rack and a Mimikyu. Now, look, I tell you now, guys, I actually have a funny feeling that the winner is going to be the Triple Blessers. That's where I'm laying my hat. What about you guys? Which one do you think is the better product? Which one would you rather buy if you had the option to buy an ETB or free Triple Blessers? Which ones would you go for? Let me know. Uh, me, I think I'd buy Triple Blessers again over an ETB, personally, once I've had one. And, oh, we got a Delphox V, so there's a little something. All right. Three packs in, Delphox V. We've probably only made about a pound back if i'm honest i might include the sleeve some of the stuff from the etb box in the total value we make back as well because i will include the promo cards when i do the blister pack so yeah but we'll do all the totaling up at the end all right no training gallery so far oh we're volo volo right there's that code card Yay! yeah that one went right that time oh wait it's gone behind the cupboard damn it right okay can we get something? Come on. I am very much liking this set though, guys. Look at that jinx. That is dabbing, that jinx, right? Rhyhorn and a Buffalant. Okay, so we're halfway through the ETB. Not had the most amazing start you'll ever see, if I'm honest, guys. Um, you know, we opened one on a shorts the other day. Made a shorts on one of these. Managed to get a Radiant card, which was very cool. I wouldn't mind seeing a Radiant. The Steelix, I think, is probably my favorite of the three Radiants in there. Right, Blip Bug and a camera. Wow. Okay. Here we go. Come on. We are three packs left, including this one. So far, no big hit at all. Not even a trainer gallery. Like, 
I really feel like you should. But I, like I said, guys, I watched like some big openings of this. I watched some people doing it and whatnot. Open tons of ETBs. They really weren't great for hits. Come here. Whoa! There we go. The Snorlax. I will take that. Now, I'm not going to lie. I got this in my pre-release kit, so I do have it. But I love a trainer gallery card. And this set, like I said, has got the best trainer gallery cards going. Really nice looking. Corners are well sharp on that. It's not very rounded at all. Is there anything behind it? Nope. Okay, so we saw a trainer gallery, and we've had a V and a hollow. So we're, we're free out of six so far. That's like a hit. One in two with a hit. Not too bad i guess just nothing big yet you know eat at the end of the day guys if you just want lots of hits booster box is the way to go but just not everyone can afford a booster box right no one's got 110 120 quid that's a cool looking that fatina reverse holo trainer card looks really cool look at that right and uh dugong right last pack magic from the etb and then it's time for triple blisters and i'm I've got high hopes for the triple blisters, guys, if I'm honest. I really do. I am I feel the triple blisters are going to win. Am I going to eat my words? Well, we're going to find out shortly. Uh, let's see if we can get something big out of the last pack magic on the ETB. Trainer gallery card, mate? No trainer gallery, but... Okay, so we got three hits out of the ETB. Not massive value. Now it's time to see how we get on with the triple blisters. Like, don't you get annoyed, though, when they come like this? Like, you just... Wanna, just yeah, that could not really make it better. Okay, so first up, we've got the Farfetch'd coin in there. Pretty nice. Don't know what sort of value the coins have, but we've got three of them. We have three different code cards. Enjoy! And then we got the three different promos. So we've got the Weavile and the Reggie Gigas. Now, actually, I feel like this, on our site in particular, this was the one that sold out. This one seemed to be the most popular. And uh, I actually do, I think I prefer the artwork. And then most importantly, guys, look at that. Nine booster packs. We got one extra pack. Now, this may have cost us like a pound extra to get the free blisters, but we got an extra booster pack for that extra pound. Let's see if that pound, that pound and that extra pack make a difference. Can we beat what comes out the ETB? Looking forward to doing a little bit of maths after this. Now, of course, the prices will be slightly higher than what they are, let's say, if you're watching this in like a week or two weeks' time, because the, the set hasn't actually released. It doesn't release till Friday, and prices drop the moment the set releases. Now, I haven't got anything on the first one. And, oh, Giratina V! Okay, so that is a straight V. I reckon we're going to get at least three hits from these packs, because you tend to get a hit per blister. You do get the odd blister that is stacked, though. I've seen people get gold cards, all arts, and everything. Maybe we'll get lucky. Right. Okay, good start. Giratina V, one of the better V cards to get, I guess, as well from this. That'll be, you know, Giratina, one of the big chase cards in the set. Yo, we got a crimped card right there, guys. Check that out. See that? Damn, I wonder if that's going to follow through onto any of the other cards. <laughs> follow through. Wait, what? How did I... I've done something very really wrong here. Right, okay, yeah, I have. Look, the energy card is in there as well. Horsey, Tinamo, Seedart, Shellos. Okay, Carbink. And, oh, has so in Arcanine. Okay, so we're uh, two uh, hollows in, and I've put got these packs in like blister pack order. So essentially, whatever blister pack we're opening now had at least two hits in its packs, which is actually quite a lot. Oh, I didn't do the energy card, did I? Um, so that's not bad, like, to be honest, guys. There's um, it's pretty good ratios. Yo! <laughs> Come on! Let's go! Let's come on, Charizard! Charizard train. Wow, that blister was stacked. It had three hits. There's a chance that something could be behind. No, there's nothing behind it. We are more concerned about the fact we got this Charizard. Oh my god. Have you seen they've actually uh, leaked the uh, the free Charizard hours from the UPC? I know. Beautiful. Okay, so far, so good. If I could pick between the hits I've had, I'm picking my blister pulls all day long here guys i really really am now just before i open this pack though guys if you are enjoying this video so far do consider hitting that subscribe button here on the channel giving the video a like and ringing the alert bell so you don't miss some stuff i've got coming up for example some free box breaks of lost origins at the end of this month look out for that anyway back into the packs machoke patuna wormpool teen ammo c dot horsey meditate Ooh, the Basket Legion and that Mimikyu. Do you know what? I am seeing a fair amount of Mimikyu's as your rare at the back of the pack. Now, is that going to be like... You do get that. Do you ever get that with sets where you just have a card that seems to always be 
your rare card. Like, I swear, it happens a lot. It says something at the back of this. The cards feel bigger at the back. It says something. Let's get through this. Come on, Murkrow. Ooh, no trainer gallery. However, Sableye. Look at that as well. Okay, look at the mist. There's even the hollow in this border there. That, I like that a lot. That is an exciting looking hollow actually like that one now i'm gonna say guys i think we are on to a clear win for triple blisters so far this is a crazy amount of hits even if we don't get anything more i think there's a very high possibility that it's one now i don't know the maths i've not looked at the card prices i'm gonna do that after i've opened them and i'll be chucking together the totals oh snorlax reverse that's a cool artwork on that and Cameron. Right, three packs left. So we're on to the last blister pack. So that second blister gave us just the one hit. The first blister gave us three hits, so it gave us plenty. Can this one, the third one, give us at least one hit? Can it give us an alternate art? Something big? Let's hope so. Yo! There we go! We got Radiant as well! The Radiant Sneezer! Do you know what? That is really not, I do very much like the, sne sne uh, the Steelix, but that's a cool artwork. That is very cool on that Sneezer. I like that as well. You know, there's a hit behind it. Yo, another Giratina V. It's a walkover, guys. All right, two packs left. Triple blisters for the win or what, guys, so far? This is crazy. I am very, very happy like right now. That is awesome. I feel that was money well spent on those. Yo, we got another hit as well. I've just seen accidentally. I've managed to catch the back card. And we do have another hit. So it's not that. It's going to be the Pidgeot V. The full art is one that I would love from this set. I'm a big Pidgey, Pidgeotto and Pidgeot fan. They just give me so much nostalgia feels, those Pokemon. They really do. I used to always catch a Pidgey in like uh, blue and red and take it all the way to take in on the Elite Four. Right, last pack magic. Let's go with this one then. Can we finish with a flourish? Can we get one more hit? So far, this final blister pack has been stacked. It has been stacked. How has anyone else who's opened these blisters got on with them? Have you seen good hits out of your blisters? Oh, look, we've got the Pikachu. I managed to get that in the reverse hollow in my pre-release, so that was like one of my favorite hits from the pre-release kits. Okay, so we've got no training gallery. We are on the Greedent Reverse. Now, last card. All right, guys, so the results are in and I'm actually pretty shocked about some of the value on the cards that we pulled today. Like, honestly, pretty nuts. Then again, it is before the set's actually released. This is kind of like pre-release, so some values are pretty high. They will drop over the next like week to two weeks. That is for sure. But anyway, if we're basing it off of me selling the cards today, we're going to go with the ETB first. That costs us $37.99 and the value of the cards that we pulled, I also included like the sleeves in there as well because they might have a couple of quid in value and stuff like that. Anyway, the value of everything we pulled including that would be about 11 pound 50 so that means we would lose 26 pound 49p if we were to sell all those cards where the triple blisters on the other hand that was a very different story guys uh they cost us 38 pound 97 well guys if we sold everything that came out of it including the promo cards we'd be able to sell everything for 51 pound 50p, meaning we'd actually make 12 pound 53p profit. That is absolutely nuts. And so much of that comes down to these two Giratina cards, guys. Check out these eBay sales. Absolutely crazy on what these cards have been selling for. And of course, pulling that Charizard currently right now, people are paying stupid money for this card. Honestly, this is not worth what people are paying right now. In a couple of weeks, this thing will be like five, six, seven quid, something like that. People are paying double that right now. Not sure why, literally no point buying these cards right now in my opinion at all that's just my advice anyway don't be buying cards before a set actually releases wait a little bit the price is plummet but anyway that was really interesting and the blisters have absolutely stormed to victory guys but what did you think of that? Let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a like. Hit that subscribe button here on the channel for more content just like this. Ring that alert bell so you don't miss any of the content we do. Stay safe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.